uh-oh, you're right next to a black hole and it's starting to form. Now in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek universe, this ended up being a huge inconvenience for Spock as he tried to evade a ticked off lumpy forehead Romulan who'd made plenty of questionable life choices. Drunk on Romulan ale and living above a tattoo parlor. So if you're piloting Spock's ship towards the singularity, do you have any hope of escaping before it gets to full power? Then quickly now, this not only has implications for science, but most importantly for the entire Star Trek reboot. Or you know, we can just create a brand new timeline, everybody's doing it, retcon, for the win. Most black holes come to be after a huge star explodes into a supernova. Usually, the force of gravity in a huge star is balanced by its radiation, the engine inside that sends out energy into space. But when the star runs out of fuel to burn, gravity quickly takes over and the star collapses. But how quickly? Ready your warp engines and hope for the best. So here's the bad news. There's not much hope for Spock or his ship. A star's collapse happens in an instant. And the star's volume gets smaller and smaller. Your escape velocity, the energy you'd need to escape the star, will quickly exceed the speed of light. Now you could argue there's a moment in time where you could escape, but this isn't quite the spot to argue about Vulcan physiology, but I assume the reaction time is close to humans. So it would happen faster than you could react, and you'd be boned. But look at the bright side. Maybe you get to discover a whole new universe. Unless, of course, black holes just kill you and aren't sweet magical portals for you and your space dragon, which you can name Spock in honor of your Vulcan friend who couldn't outrun a black hole. Now here we've been talking about what happens if a black hole suddenly appears beside you. The good news is, supernovae can be predicted. I mean, not very precisely, but astronomers can say which stars are nearing the end of their lives. Here's an example. In constellation Orion, Betelgeuse, the bright star on the right shoulder, is expected to go supernova sometime in the next few hundred thousand years. So there's plenty of time to get out of the way. So black holes are dangerous for your health, but at least there's lots of time to move out of the way if one looks threatening. Just don't go exploring too close. If you were to fall through a black hole, what do you think would happen? No, just kidding. We all know you'd die. Now why don't you tell us what your favorite black hole sci-fi story is in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we can do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Ken Hugel and Zachary Tong and the many others who help us create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes, as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Cue the motorbike. Cue the- Okay, motorbike's out. <laughs> Pain, you're up.